For more analysis, I'm joined by Saurabh Gupta. He specializes in Asia-Pacific International Relations Policy at the Institute for China-America Studies. Uh, Jessica's story uh, alluding to one of the candidates and sounding off about the Vincent. Um, just one candidate expressing annoyance. I was looking at the Sydney Morning Herald. Of course, they did this uh, exercise with uh, Australia. And it said on Wednesday, after it was revealed that the carrier strike group was actually thousands of kilometers away and it began, it was actually heading in the wrong direction or opposite direction toward the Indian Ocean, South Koreans uh, felt uh, rather unhappy, bewildered, cheated, and manipulated by the United States. In the United States, I think most people, when Donald Trump goes to Twitter, they feel like it's just bluster. But how is this going to affect relations with allies and enemies if we see, you know, here in the United States, oh, well, it's just him blowing off steam or saying whatever, where it's seen uh, otherwise uh, in other countries? That's a really good point, particularly with the, uh, with the ally that we're talking about, which is South Korea. Mr. Tillerson had gone there last month. So he had passed through Seoul. And the feeling was in South Korea that was that it was not given sufficient attention and respect Mr. Tillerson had gone to Beijing. He also went to Tokyo and had spent a far greater amount of time out there. There is a feeling in South Korea, because perhaps it has an interim government out there, that consultations have not been as good as they should be. Because if, by chance, unfortunately, if armed hostilities do break out on the, on the Korean peninsula, it is the South Koreans who will face the brunt first. So it is essential that uh, the US government do its consultations perfectly, particularly with allies who are directly in the line of fire. Well, you, you used the word respect, uh, uh, saving face, very much a part of the culture. It, 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 do you see this as kind of a, an administration perhaps not understanding that element of all of this? Perhaps there is an, there is an element of that, but perhaps this, the issue has also been blown a little bit out of proportion. I would say the, the, the administration has tried to walk down the, down the correct path on, on, on these issues, or at least walk itself back from some of the wrong or dangerous statements it has been making on Asia for in, in the, during the campaign and, and since. But the administration doesn't have many of its appointees still in place in, in, within the State Department and in the Defense Department. And so there is not always the, the sort of corrective that should be provided at the right time. For example, with regard to this aircraft carrier instance, uh, the Carl Vinson, the Japanese press did get it right in saying that the car carrier will be headed to at the end of the month to the Korean Peninsula, end of this month. While the press out here picked up slightly wrongly, and nobody from the from the U.S. government pointed that out, and so there was an incorrect impression laid out out there, by commission or omission, and then this has has cascaded to the South Koreans feeling unhappy about the situation. So there has to be better communication, but there also has to be all the adults need to be in place out here to get policy going. Well, and the adults uh, need to seem to have the same message, don't they? I mean, on Monday, uh, the U.S. Vice President said we hope to achieve denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula through peaceable means. And then a couple days later, no options off the table, more kind of a, a pounding the uh, drum again. Um, it just seems like the messages are, 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 are consistently changing. That's, that's an important point, and particularly with Mike Pence, one is a little surprised because he was supposed to be the person who, who you could, with a degree of assurance, go to with regard to what, he's, what he says. Perhaps things have just gotten into his head, being at the DMZ and seeing the situation out there, because in the last 24 hours, he has said things which, are, which have gone against the grain of the Korea strategic review that the administration just conducted one month back, him suggesting that North Korea just needs to dismantle its capabilities, period, and the U.S. is not going to be engaging. That, that isn't necessary. The U.S. is trying to put pressure on North Korea, but when you come up front with statements like that, that can be read very differently in Pyongyang and can collapse the whole process. We've got about 20 seconds. Um, Wu Dawei, uh, Wang Yi, it seems like China is really pivotal in all of this. What role can they play? They can play an important role, but let's, let's be very clear about this. Wu Dawei spent five days in Seoul and he did not have access to get to North Korea. The North Koreans have been 
obstinate and troublesome. And so it's not an easy sell for China with regard to the North Koreans. And one must bear that in mind and proceed on that basis that it's not a given that China can just turn off the tap or just have that much influence in North Korea. That used to be the case, maybe not now anymore. Yeah, Sarab Gupta, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming in.